When you start your Leap software, you can select to run the simulator in manual or automatic mode. You can utilize trends in both modes. In this example, we have selected manual mode and chose healthy patient. This will start the software in the standard settings and the patient will have normal vital signs. As you can see from this example, manually adjusting the vital signs can be time-consuming, frustrating, and can make the operator lose focus on the actions of the scenario. Another layer of complexity with this method is when one or more actions are completed at the same time and each one has a vital sign change associated with it, it can get complicated to follow a busy scenario. Adjusting the vital signs manually is possible by hovering your mouse over the parameter and utilizing the roller ball to increase or decrease the values. Another option for adjusting the vital signs is to simply click on the numeric value. A pop-up screen will appear where you can select the value you want the change to head to, then below that, select the trending time to identify how long it should take. If you have created a trend in the Trend Editor software and want to run this trend in manual mode, you can do so by clicking the Trend tab and adding the trend directly from there. As you can see, starting a trend from this feature allows quick, easy access to the trends and easy implementation. Another option for creating trends is the traditional Trend Editor. Once you click on the Editor tab, you will be presented with a pop-up screen that allows you to select what parameters you would like to create. Once you select the desired parameters, you will be taken to the editor screen with an X and Y axis on it. Now that you are in the trend editor, you will see a series of numbers along the X and Y axes. The numbers along the X axis represent the period of time you want the changes to occur in. Numbers along the y-axis represent the numeric changes to that particular parameter. An important piece of information that you should know before starting your creation is that the number 0 in the y-axis represents whatever the existing value is at the time the trend will start. If you click on a time period, a small circle will appear. This circle is adjustable in both the x and y axes, so you can adjust the numeric value and the amount of time the change should take to occur. To make it a bit easier to use, some people will make one click to create a circle, then use the numeric box at the middle or top of the screen to make more precise adjustments. You should also know that this can be done for each circle created in a parameter. Another option for utilizing trends is within the Sim Designer software, where you can add one or many within a scenario. These can be programmed and implemented all within Sim Designer as well. Once you select your option, you will need to create a name and some scenario information. Now that you're ready, it's time to get those trends into your scenario. Adding a trend or trend data to a state is fairly easy. You can manually adjust a vital sign value by clicking on it, setting your desired value, and then adjusting your desired time for completion. When you are finished with that state, click OK to confirm changes. At Wiser, we like to assign trends to event items. That way, an instructor can simply follow the process, click the event, and then the physiological changes will occur automatically. Here we are demonstrating the five steps to assigning a trend to an event. Step 1. Click on the event to change. Step 2. Select Click and Add Response. Step 3. In the Vital Signs section, click the parameter you want to change. Step 4. Select your transition time. And Step 5. Click OK to enter. This will add the trend to your event. 
you will follow this process to add a program trend to your event as well. The difference would be that you would select the trend to add from the list of program trends and then click OK to add. Now that we have added our trends to our event menu items, we are set to run our scenario with trending features. As you can see, one simple click on an event can now change the vital signs over time to the new desired endpoints.